Well, here we are back again. Now, here's the phone number you need to know. It's 703-663-3333. All those threes in there. Chandra's sitting here and ready to take your call, so please do so. And in the meantime, while we wait, um, I'm sure you had a, a couple other things you wanted to mention. I, I did, thank you. So as I said, we were talking about the elite award winners. Um, we also have, and she was unable to join us today because she's on a trip. Mm -hmm. Part of her job is Robin Legrand. Mm -hmm. uh, she's our special trips coordinator. Right. Um, it's because we had two employee winners and then we had a leader, so we had to get the opportunity to meet the other two. Yeah. Uh, Robin uh, was nominated um, because of her uh, ongoing service that she provides to the residents. Um, and she's really somebody that troubleshoots. When you're a special trips coordinator, as you can imagine, going on a trip anywhere, whether it's, whether it's a, within the, the local area or outside, you may potentially have glitches. Mm -hmm. But Robin really uh, comes to uh, the rescue mm -hmm. when needed and figures out a way to get it done to make sure that our residents are having the best experience possible uh, but also making sure that they're safe and mm -hmm. taken care of. And so this specific incident that occurred, um, that the, there was a trip going down to the Kennedy Center, um, and then there was a, a, a problem with the um, vehicle, and she really exemplified le leadership and excellence. She remained calm. Um, she made sure that she got in touch with the transportation services at the community, um, and then she also supervised the driver. Uh, they made sure that the residents uh, that were on the trip weren't sitting in a hot vehicle. She went to the security at the Kennedy Center and made sure that they were able to come inside in the lobby and sit so then they could use you know, the restroom if they needed to sure. and made sure that they were Because the driver stays with the, right. the trip in some of those cases. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so you know, making sure that all of that was done and that all of the 23 residents came home safely and were comfortable and you know it just talks about how she was really proactively thinking about what is the best for my resident and how do I make sure that mm -hmm. they're safe um, you know, after, after a show and making sure that they get to come back to their homes. Um, and so this was, you know, as I said, it's an example. So I love to get examples and we could talk about there are many, many times sure. where she's had um, situations even on a trip outside of the area, you know, she's had yeah. situations yeah. where she's had to take people maybe to the emergency room or things sure. that have happened. Sure. Um, but she always shows professionalism and commitment with a smile. Um, and she's really been a, a wonderful employee and that's why she's one of the winners mm. of this uh, Elite Award for the month. Oh, well, good. So uh, you'll get to see her picture up uh, in the lobby areas. Uh, and yes. I'm sure people recognize her also. Yes. So, um, you know, the Elite Award really gives us a chance to acknowledge people. There's so many employees day in and day out. Um, as you can imagine, with close to a thousand employees um, that really go above and beyond because they care about our residents, they care about each other. Um, and I'm really, as I said, very, very proud to be able to serve mm -hmm. alongside them. Um, mm -hmm. Because it makes me feel like where I am is where people care well, and I care. it's a real team. I mean, we're a it's team, yeah. And we're here because each we... Each person doing and then beyond that. Exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. absolutely. So yeah, she's, Robin is, uh, I've seen numbers of uh, our uh, trip coordinators since my I living, living here. And um, she just really does go out of her way to it's, she just really cares about it. It's, it's not just a job to her, right. it's a career. Exactly, exactly. It's a passion that she has. Um, so we've got lots of things going on. Mm -hmm. I know we've been talking about the resident satisfaction survey and currently our survey, uh, we're close to about 50% participation. Okay. So we're asking our residents, please we value your opinions. This is about Green Spring team. I think we're getting a call. We're getting, we have a call coming okay. in. Uh, go ahead with your call. We can't hear anything. We can't hear it. Go ahead, say hello. Hello, John. Hello, hello. Hello. We're not Can you getting hear me? any sound in here. Okay, somebody's going to figure this out here in a minute. Oh, they, uh, pardon? 
Well, I'm try okay, it's a him we're talking to. We're, yep. We have a caller, um, and then we're going to take that call in just a second. Okay, you're on the air. Hello? Hello? Oh, there we go. Hello? Yes, I have a question for Sandra Kumar. Yes. Please go ahead with your question. Okay, there's a rumor going around uh, Hunter's Crossing that the bistro is going to be expanding and taking over the seating around the fireplace and the card room uh, starting in November. I'd like to know if there's any truth to that rumor and what the reason for it behind it is and so forth. So that is a rumor. So that should go on uh, Mythbusters. What we will be doing in November, based on resident request, is to um, expand the meal offerings so that residents can use their meal of the day, which currently they're not doing in the bistro. So we wanted to make sure, again, this is based on resident feedback. These are requests that we received saying we'd like to be able to use our meal of the day in the, in the bistro. And so we're going to be doing that in November. Yes. We have no plans on expanding and moving pool tables or anything like that. I see. Yes. It's just going to be the area right near the fireplace. Where the area is currently. Okay. What, what the space is currently. Okay. Is where we will be keeping it. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you for that because we always don't know what the rumor mill says. Okay. So getting back to the resident survey you were talking about. Yes, so we're about at 50% participation mm -hmm. right now. Um, just giving people a reminder, the 12th is the last day to turn in the paper copy. Mm -hmm. um, if you have not, if you've lost it or misplaced it, we've had quite a few residents say they've not been able to find it or, mm -hmm. and so they've been coming to administration. You can come to our offices um, and come by and get them. Priscilla okay. is there and she can give you a copy. You can also take it online and the online, I know that when they're when we uh, cut in between, there's a slide that has the uh, address on it the, uh, where you would type in mm -hmm. um, the URL yes. number. It's HTTPS yes. that you see up there on the slide. And the online version uh, will go on till the 19th of October. Right. You know, and, and Fran, this is an important uh, opportunity for residents to give us their feedback. Um, and we ask that you write comments. There's a space there even on both versions to write comments. You mm -hmm. can attach additional uh, paper if you'd mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. um, and those comments give us a chance to really drill down and see where are areas that we are doing well and then where are areas that we can do a little bit better. Yeah, like if somebody puts a three, then they don't explain why that three is there. You, it makes you don't no know what to fix. Or, what to fix, right. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I know that the resident council and Peggy Kellers uh, did a really nice job of putting a letter out kind of explaining how, you know, it's really a, like, for example, a five does not mean that it's 100 percent. It's a 20 point spread because it's five questions. So each one holds about a 20 point mm -hmm. um, range in it. So it's really 80 to 100 mm -hmm. is what it is. So, you know, I think that gives people the chance to know that, you know, we may not be perfect. We've got always any community this size mm -hmm. or any service that you provide is not a hundred percent perfect mm -hmm. if we were we would never strive to be great we would just be good and be able to settle on that so you know we ask that you give us feedback in, mm -hmm. in the uh, comment section uh, because we do we comb through all of those comments mm -hmm. we take that information and we put it together as an action plan so some of the things that you're seeing that we've done this year um, including transparency including additional communication avenues um, all of the town halls that we've added, um, even for general services and dining was already doing it. But those mm -hmm. all came out of feedback from residents. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. we want to make sure that we continue that uh, progress. Yeah, you, you won't enhance what you don't know about. Exactly. You know. Thank you. Um, we also have something that's coming up that I'm really excited to talk about, and we will get the dates out. We The team, the executive team, is actually going to be uh, receiving more detailed information and timelines this week, um, but it is the My Erickson application. It is going to be uh, something that you can use on your tablet, on a f smartphone, uh, on your desktop, and you can access information uh, about bulletin boards, what's going on 
um, within the community. You can check all of your dining information on there. It'll have menus mm -hmm. and it's a click of a button, very similar to applications that you may be already utilizing mm -hmm. on your tablets and your iPads and your phone. Mm -hmm. But this will be about uh, green spring. Mm -hmm. So this does not mean that anything in the sense of current communications is going to go away. We're going to still have uh, our paper copies that we do on the bulletin boards. But we want to make sure there's multiple avenues to communicate. Mm -hmm. because communication is key. And that's one thing that I hear is, you know, I don't always get to watch the TV channel or I don't always get to look at that scroll mm -hmm. um, or I don't get to the bulletin board. And this is at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're also working to see if we can get the current GPS system, which we are piloting for Ericsson. Greenspring is the only community that has the GPS system. And that's dealing with the shuttle. That's dealing with the shuttle. It tracks the shuttle going around right. the campus so you can plan Am I, do I need to walk or am I going to come and standing in front of town center? It'll be here any minute. Um, because that also is going to evolve into being able to be available on phone so you can yes. access it yes. from your apartment even before you come down to the lobbies. That's right. Yeah. So uh, That's as a good. pilot, we're asking for feedback for that too mm -hmm. because the Erickson wants to know what the residents think about this application. Um, and so, you know, we've got the GPS, which is already there, and then the My Ericsson mm -hmm. application, which is a much broader now, platform. Now, wh when is that going up? So the that the, the My Ericsson application, we will find out all the details this week. Okay. Um, and we should be able to start it before this, the uh, end of this year. And we'll, be, we'll get something in our cubbies that would tell us how to go exactly. about Or you'll exactly. have a meeting or something. Right. We'll have lots of meetings because we want to be able to to share how it works and how sure. To, so we'll have opportunities for people to learn how to use it. To learn it. how and then it give you some feedback. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you. We, we didn't get any more calls, but I think the one we did get was quite important. Yes, absolutely. Um, and thank you very much um, for coming. And we've had a full, full show here. We have. Um,